Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to explore uh, Santisha, which is a, um, uh, a standing meditation that's done in Xing Yichuan training. So uh, uh, Santisha is, uh, uh, it translates to Trinity Pile Standing and refers to the relationship of the uh, uh, the heavens, the earth, and human beings. So that's the three. So it comes from the uh, from a Taoist idea that from the emptiness, from the wuji, from the undifferentiated void, comes the comes the taiji, and from the taiji, which is the one, then comes the two, which is yin and yang. And from the two comes the three, which is heaven, earth, and and human beings. So, and then from the three comes the ten thousand things. That is the whole manifest universe. So that's the the basic formula there. And it's not just a this primordial thing that happened a long time ago. It's like what's happening each each moment. That is every moment is is emerging out of the 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 void into the the somethingness out of the nothingness into the somethingness and the, uh, which is the Taiji, the one. And then from that goes to the two, the, the, you, you split the, uh, that you say create this, uh, the uh, polarities of, uh, uh, of, of being. And uh, there's a, you know, a, the yin and yang, and that creates energy, that interplay of those polar opposites and creates energy. And then from that, it informs and, and allows that manifest as heaven, earth, and man. That is the yang chi of the heavens. I've talked about that a lot, how we're going to, how we access the yang chi of the heavens to the uh, the crown of the head and then the bai hui actually from, uh, and then the, uh, the earth chi, the yin chi of the earth, we get that through our feet, through the bubbling well, yang chuan points. And then we get the, then the human or man or whatever the the body is the intermediary. It's the channel that connects the two. And so what we're trying to do as in our martial arts is learn how to very efficiently channel these primordial or these and the these huge energies, the the big chi of of heaven and earth, and tap into that vast, virtually infinite resource and just resonate enough with it to kind of ride the wave of the big chi. And that's what we do with our martial arts. We kind of resonate with that so that we're like, uh, we're like uh, floating down a river in a canoe and we're, we are, the canoe takes a form and that's our body and that uh, we can then steer it and we're using the the energy of the river to to take us where we want to go, and that's like the, the that the the nature chi that I'm talking about, the big chi. And uh, but the the canoe also separates us from the from the river, right? It uh, it keeps us dry and allows us to float on the river rather than swimming where you're actually in the river. And so you still get swept along with the, uh, if you're swimming, but the, uh, the canoe gives you a little more freedom to, to move and also get, you don't get quite as wet. So uh, our bodies are like that. They separate us from nature, but they also allow us to resonate with nature and, and borrow the energy to, uh, to take us in a direction that we want to go. So uh, the Santishi is a uh, this Trinity pile standing is kind of cool because what it does is it it's a very concise way of practicing accessing these, these different energies and also about how to work with the polarities that make up the two. And um, I remember when I was first studying um, Xing Yi with uh, Master Yang Fukui about 20 years ago. And 
And it was, you know, I had been practicing Santee for about a year. And I was like, yeah, okay. I wasn't quite getting it because, you know, I was, you know, the, the story was that, okay, you you practice this and for, uh, for, you know, hours a day for a year or a year or two. And then you can learn the other stuff, the other parts of, of your Shing Yi Chuan. That's the, the traditional way of going about it. And I wasn't getting, you know, the, the mojo that I was hoping to from the, uh, from the, the 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 standing practice, yeah, it was nice, but it wasn't wasn't getting me where I wanted to go. It wasn't like an exponential leap in my kung fu that I was anticipating. So I broached the topic with Master Yang. He says, "Oh, well." He tried, he looked at what I was doing. Says, "Oh, she must fight." And uh, and what do you mean? He said, "Fight," you know, and. And uh, it's like, oh, he had only been in the country a few years at that point, so it was a uh, it was a challenge to get the uh, to, to to the language barrier was 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 an interesting thing. But he made it very clear that that your there had to be this opposition within your body, and he was talking um, primarily about the way your feet, the way your left foot and your right foot, they were you know pressing against each other the when you held your body was a, a way there's there was what i came to start to call poles in opposition as a way of generating energy so that came out of that conversation it's like oh okay so we once you start getting your chi to fight within your body so you have these 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 things are working against each other then you have uh, you start to crank up the energy quite a bit, and that really kickstarted my practice into a whole new level, and is something that uh, uh, also informs everything else I'm doing. So we're going to do the Santee today, um, not because we're going to start now doing a lot of Xing Yi, it, but it is a um, it's a way of of training these these awarenesses that uh, we might not get from other things and it also worked very quickly to crank up the energy so you get a uh, a really good feel for that and uh, the I'll be talking about you know the pairings in in the body so there's an awareness of different things say your your hands and your feet are a pair, your wrists and your ankles are a pair, your elbows and your knees are a pair, your hips and your scapula are a pair. So whenever we move, it's, you know, you're, 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 if you're turning your, your hips and your scapula both are united in their, in their movement. There's this, they're feeding each other and it creates this whole body connection that is really cool. So let's uh, let's stand up and we'll do some uh, we'll do some sand t-shirt. Okay, so first let's. Um, Let's get our three pillars established. I'm up here up on, on the oh, feet. All right, there we go. Okay, I can see my feet. All right, so let's um, let's feel the uh, the three pillars. So we want to get that, we want to have our central equilibrium first, then unlock your knees and, and feel your weight centering around the balls of your feet. And you sink into your feet. So you're relaxing your legs. And ah, you're just kind of settling down into your feet, but you're organizing the weight and your foot around the ball of the foot. So the, the the weight is spread throughout your the whole foot, but it primarily organized around the ball of the foot. So without coming up at all, you reach up with the crown of your head. So you're sinking down with your body, and up of the crown of your head. So that 
that top back of your head is kind of reaching up to press against the the uh, the ceiling, and simultaneously you tuck in your chin, so not not dropping it, but just pulling it back. So you're retracting it. So a lot of people stand like this. So you just want to pull your chin in, so that as if you're you're trying to touch the back of your uh, neck against your collar. So that that kind of that kind of thing, that kind of action, you're attracting your head. What that does is it opens up the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. It allows the energy to move freely into your brain, into, into what's called the spirit valley in the uh, center of your brain. And um, want to loosen your hip joints. So really relax that and allow yourself to sink down even more into your legs as if you're sitting down. Reach out a little bit with your elbows and rotate your forearms so your hands are, are the palms are facing backward a little bit. So the arms have this slight rounded quality. Okay, good. So now step out. I'm just going to warm this up a little bit. We're going to get the chi moving. So put to the balls of your feet, set your knees, and reach up with your wrists. Just come up at about belt high and reach out with your fingers. Pull back your elbows as your body goes forward a little bit and push forward as your body goes back. And press down. Bow forward. Rotate your arms, your palms are facing up, and then coming up, gathering the chi, lifting, feel the heaviness on your arms as you're reaching upward, and feel that reach out. And as you reach out, open your shoulder blades, open up your back so that you're you're feeling a, uh, an expansion there, as if you're, you know, you're, you're, you're spreading your wings. You're opening between your shoulder blades, and then sink into your heels. Rotate your palms and press down. Sink. And go into the balls of your feet and reach. Come up to shoulder height. Reach with the fingers open. Open your shoulder blades, open your arms, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, and spread. Reach, pulling back, reaching back with your elbows opening your chest, opening the shoulders, and uh, sink into your heels and coming down. And sink into your, sink even deeper into the earth, simultaneously reaching with the crown of your head. Step in with your left foot and I want you to step forward with your left foot. Pick up your heel of your left foot and step straight forward. So you're, you're going to be stepping 
actually, before you step forward, pivot out on your right heel so your foot's at a 45. Now you're going to pick up and sink into that right leg, rounding down to the right. Pick up your left heel and step forward. And you want to do it so that your heels are lined up. So your foot's not out here. It's so you're straight ahead in front of the, the right heel. And you step out. Bring you about 80%, 78% of your weight back into your right leg as you do this. You're stepping out there with your with your left foot. And so the for our purposes today, we're going to step out a very modest amount, right? Just a, not not a lot. If you're training Shingy, if you really want to, you want to want to you really want to get your Santi. You can do it very long and low, and so you're getting this kind of posture happening here, right? You're, and but I'd like to do it a little gentler, just uh, as we're getting used to it here, so I can take my time without a lot of strain on your on your body. So you're stepping forward, and you sink into that that right leg, and your uh, I'm going to do it sideways yeah so your have that your body and turn so it's your navel's on a 45 so 90 degrees boom and we're putting the difference here so my navel's pointing that way so my and your left knee is bent but it's only has about 30% of the weight. Most of the work is being done by the, by the right leg in this, in this situation. You have your, your posture is such that your, your torso is faced on the 45. You want to bring your left hand up and reach out so that it's reaching out so it's right over your left foot left hand over your left foot. The palm is, is you're reaching forward. You open your, open your fingers and your, your fingers are slightly rounded. There's, so you're, so there's this, this quality here. So your navel's pointing that way. Your left hand is going in the same direction as your leg. So if, uh, um, if I'm facing you and you're facing into the camera and that's, we'll call that south, then this would be east. The left hand would be going east. And just kind of for frame of reference, we'll, kind of, well I'll have a shared frame of reference. And I'm sitting down into my claw in my, in my right leg as I'm doing that. So Setting down, sit, so I'm sitting down here, relaxing my lower back so that my pelvis line it gets kind of level. I bring my right hand around, so I'm going to curve my right, right arm, so it looks like this. So I'm, I'm curving, so that my thumb is pointing toward my navel. Okay, so there's, there's this kind of shape is what we're, what we're looking for here, and you can modify it as needed in terms of how how high or long you want it to be you know but this is just a kind of a, a place to start you want to reach with the crown of your head and tuck in your chin so you have that same that same verticality to your torso so we're we're having so the fighting that's going on is between Let's say between your feet, your feet are kind of really gripping the gripping the earth. You're sinking in, and the left foot is kind of pushing back. The right foot's pushing forward, and you get this kind of kind of energy in opposition. Same time, the hands they're pulling apart. 
The left hand is reaching out. The right hand is, is back and down. So you get this kind of, uh, the, these poles in opposition. Your feet and your head, their their head is reaching up. Your feet are pressing down. So there's we're getting uh, these poles in opposition. Your you want to get this your right wrist and your right ankle. You want to feel them together. Feel your left wrist and your left ankle. And see, these are things where. Um, we're going to introduce into your, into your awareness, but you don't have to think about them so much as be aware of them. Feel your left elbow and your left knee. Feel your right elbow and your right knee. Feel your scapula and your hips. Feel those, those in opposition together. So what's, we're tuning the body right now, kind of like tuning a guitar string. We're getting the tensegrity just right. So we're ratcheting up the stretching within, within the system to get our energy tuned. You want to, Ah, oh, the more you relax into it. And by relax, it's not a not not a um, getting sloppy kind of relax. It's more just a settling. What we think of as sung, as a releasing down into your connective tissue and into your bones, so that you're you're really just settling into the intrinsic structure of your body. Your uh, I've been look, talking at you, but you actually want to look through your through your hand here. So your your that little space there between your thumb and your forefinger is about head height, and that's kind of like a like a gun sight for you. You're looking through that, so your torso is going this way, but your attention is going through your hand. It just and then just go through the checklist and you just want to feel you know, your feet and your hands, your ankles and your wrists, your elbows and your knees, your scapula and your, and your hips. And feel them working together and then bring your hands in, step in. Pause a moment and just allow that energy to go back to neutral. I'm going to turn my left foot out. I'm going to pick up my right heel and step forward with my right foot. Okay. And then settle down into my left leg and turn so my body is on that 45. And hand comes up, my right hand comes up the center line and reaches out. So just notice that, just the idea of reaching out there and extending it, extending out. Notice how that lengthening the connective tissue in your arms, you're lengthening your sinews, and you're you're pulling that that guitar string, tuning that up, creating tensegrity within the system. Your left hand, thumb pointing to your navel, arm curved. And then your right hand about head height, you're looking through the gun sight there. And you're settling down into your stance and feel your feet and your 
hands. Feel your right wrist and your left, your right, your, your right ankle. Your left wrist and your left ankle. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. And just bringing your attention, your awareness of these things, bringing it together creates a connection in your in your body mind. It amplifies your the uh, connections, the uh, uh, your neural connections between your your brain and your uh, your sensory and motor neurons. So you're creating more um, neural connections as you as you do this. But you're also even more importantly, you're creating an energetic connection. You want to feel your your scapula and your and your hips. your head and your feet. Reaching up with the head, sinking down into the feet, pushing back with your right foot, pushing forward with your left foot. Very gently, but definitely with purpose. Each extension here is made with purpose. And then step in and return to neutral. And just feel into that, feel the energy that's being generated. Feel, feel into your hands and notice how alive they uh, they feel right now how buzzy your fingers are. I'm going to turn the right foot up. We're going to step off the left foot. Reach out with the left hand, right hand, and sink. So here you want to open up your crotch. So it's not like like this. You're you're really you're opening the opening your crotch as you uh, as you do. This allows the the chi to to move through the yin channels in your leg. Remember that your your heels are lining up. You have that, there's a linear feeling to that. Remember, by reaching out with your left arm, you're opening the chest. But now what I want to do is to coordinate. I want you to feel your left foot and your left hand. You're going to press down with your left foot and kind of Squeeze a little bit with your left hand just to, to really get some feeling there, really accentuate that. This is just to, to build some, some communication, internal communication in your body. Feel your, your left wrist and your left ankle. You just want to kind of twist that ankle a little bit. Really feel that, feel the wrist. You just want to just get that, get those two so that they're really working together. So you're you're activating, just imagine you're pushing out with your hand, but you're also feeling that ankle going at the same time. Same thing with the elbow. You're reaching out with that left elbow, but you're also feeling that left knee as you do that. Can you put your head in the right position? Sure. <laughs> people don't get the wrong idea. You're just yeah, right. So people are doing. Good, good point. So, so um. I'm, I'm looking through there. My head's in the correct position now. My body's on that 45. So I'm doing it. So I'm feeling my uh, elbows and my knees, my left elbow, my left knee. 
to my right foot, my right hand, my right ankle, my right wrist. Just do something to kind of really accentuate that, that feeling. You move it a little bit, just kind of get the, the feeling. You're moving the two together, your right knee and your right elbow. Really get that feeling. And you want to feel your, your scapula, your, feel that your, your back, your mid-back there and your, and your hips there. You're moving at the same time, just so you get that, that connection. And step in. And then we're going to turn your left foot out and step out with your right. So make sure you're lining up your feet. And then you spiral down so that you're sitting down into your your quad and you're opening up your 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 crotch reach out with your right hand reach feel that fingers wrist elbow open the shoulder joint left hand rounded opposing your right Feel the reaching forward with your right hand, pulling down and back with your left hand. Pressing down into the earth with your feet, reaching up with the crown of your head. Feel the right wrist and the right ankle. The right knee, the right elbow, feel them, move them. Just feel, really establish that really firm connection there. So you scattered your, your hips. So you're now move left and right, both just, just very gently move, just kind of get them so that they're all moving together. You're spiraling around within your stance, not moving much, but just so we can get that. And then going forward and back, just getting the coordination of those different elements all at once. Step in and yeah, return to neutral. I'm going to step out with my left foot. Sink in my right, step out of my left foot, sink, and actually make it not quite so large this time. You're very, it's going to be very like um, half. If you're reaching out with your left hand, it's softly reaching. So we're taking all the energy we had before, the right hand coming in here. And it's going to be a much softer version of what we were doing before. So in the language we've been using recently, we're going from Ming, which is obvious and expressive and young, and we're going into An Jin, which is hidden. It's Yin, softer. We're still doing the same things, feeling all that action there, all those connections, but they're not nearly as exaggerated, as amplified as with the more Ming version. 
still want to have the same basic ideas in your shape, but it's not nearly as extended. Here we're, rather than expressing the chi, we're now gathering it, we're receiving. We're taking the energy from the four directions, directions and, and feeling it in, feeling, allowing it to nurture our bodies. Step in and turn and step out with your right foot, right hand, left hand, soft. Feel the, all those connections, your ankles, knees, hands, feet, scapula, hips, but it's not nearly so exaggerated. You're re still reaching up with the crown, still sinking into the feet. Everything is still fighting, but it's doing it in a hidden way. It's still quietly doing it. The energy is much more refined. Step in and into that neutral posture. And allow the energy to circulate and nurture your body mind. Feel the moving. Step in, take a deep breath, gather yang, and then sink into your heels and yin, 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 relax, disappear the chi, dissolve into the emptiness. Returning back, we're returning back to the Wuji. Okay, please have a seat. Hmm. How'd that go? Any thoughts? Questions? Lynn. On the on version, um, are you still fighting as much? Are you are you still yes, but very quietly. Quiet fighting. So, Quietly fighting. Softly. So, in other words, you've 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 already established the poles in opposition. Just like I can go like this and you know, and and that's very Ming, you know, right. and then or I can just go like that and feel the poles in opposition. Right. Right. And, and, but it's not. It doesn't have the same. I'm not cranking up the volume quite as much. Okay. Cool. That's what I thought, but I wanted to clarify. Yeah, good. That's, uh, thank you for clarifying that for other people. I'm sure others had a similar question. Scott. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So it felt good, but I was having trouble with my knees until you had us do our knees out more. And then it just felt like I could stand there all day. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So it's knees out more. What does that mean? Well, you would have us. Yeah, you would have us. You were saying don't knock, don't collapse in more out, right? Okay. So, so knees down. over feet. Right. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. Got it. Okay. More <laughs> opening up, more opening up your, your, your crotch area. Right, right, right. Okay, good. And it's interesting how hard it was to keep my focus between my, <laughs> you know, as every time I start, thought about my feet, then I would lost my focus on my hand. And it, it was kind of funny. I kept, I kept realizing, oh, I'm not paying attention to that anymore. Oh, I'm not, oh, back and forth. That's kind yeah. Of that, that, that's, a, that's an interesting point because what we're, you know, the conscious mind can only keep track of a few things at a time. Uh, so we have to, shift out of that we're not no longer thinking about it but it becomes part of our awareness it becomes and so it's removing that super conscious state where we can handle many things simultaneously we're just not bringing them into a narrow focus mm -hmm. and, I can, I can, and i can feel all my bones now yay <laughs> <laughs> they feel tingly 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 bones <laughs> Uh, you had something, Nick? Yeah, what I was going to say is, is your hand motion was perfect because, at least for me, it's an opening up of awareness when you when you do that, right? You when they go into that super conscious place. Oh, yeah. When you 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 <clears throat> when you achieve or slip into the place where you can let go of, oh, I'm looking here. Uh oh, I'm not feeling my foot and feel at all when you go to that space where you have the whole of it it feels like an opening up to me great great yeah that's a, well, well put because it is an opening up your 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 awareness is expanding so that you can you can take in all this information at the same time and also act on it and shift instantly into uh into some form of application, but you're also able to occupy that neutral place where you're not thinking about anything. Jonathan, you had something. No, I just, you know, it's this whole wuji and fighting. It, first you start in a wuji, like when the hands, it's like they find each other as almost like a cord and they're in a total accord and there's no polarity in, in a sense, even though there is that's creating it, but you're not, You, it, it, it's like first find and then fight or something. There's something about coming out of a unity to a poles in opposition, right? But it's it's funny, with, within finding each other, you can go in and out of that, right? You can, yes. you can be fighting and then you can also be in like total unity with that's no right. poles. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a it's right. very interesting. It's a very interesting exercise. I can see why you can do this for an hour without your monkey mind taking over like shit. I got more important things to do than stand still for an hour <laughs> because you, you, you've given us so much <laughs> to pay attention to. I mean, the laundry list is so long. It's like, <laughs> yeah, in an hour you can go through it all. That's very cool. Yeah. And, and that's part of the uh, part of the attraction of doing this particular standing meditation is, it's endlessly diverting. It's, it's a, you know, like what else is possible? You, all these combinations of things that, that you can, you can direct your attention to. And uh, each one has its own feedback. Each one has its own unique quality, your wrists and your ankles together. And we didn't even get to left wrist, right ankle. It's like, you know, it's like, whoa, you know, then that, that's like, that suddenly we're, we're, we're expanding even more. The options become, you know, uh, much, much greater at that point. Is your, under I'm sorry, is your understanding of traditional standing practice, maybe half hour to the left, then shift a half hour to the right, or 
take a position and don't move for an hour? Uh, I, you know, I've, I, I've heard a lot of different theories on that. And I personally, I'm, I, you do it as long as it makes sense. And then you, <laughs> it, you know, it, it, it could be it could be a, a minute it could be yeah. you know, 10 minutes it could be 30 it, it, it as long as it makes sense as long as as you're you're getting something out of it I, i'm not a big fan of stand because you set a timer and you know, although i have done that <laughs> i have i came up that way i came up with you know like okay we're gonna Rick, we're going to do this, you know, <laughs> for an hour and by gum and you, and you do it and and you're a better man for it. But uh, uh, after a while, it's like, yeah, OK, I did that. Now I don't have to anymore. So uh, uh, I'm not so I'm, I'm not a, a timer guy. I'm more like, oh, yeah, I'm OK. I'm, I'm cooked on this side. Flip me over, you know, and then I'll, I'll cook on the other side. And oh, I'm gonna get back on the other side and cook brown a little bit. And uh, <laughs> <I like that>. <laughs> <laughs> you had something. Okay, I like that. Um, yeah, I was just gonna say, like talking about that the hands feet connection. I didn't put words to it at the time, but afterwards when we sat down, I'm like, there was just a line. There was a cord connecting my wrist to ankle it was a physical thing you know it was uh and, and it was just there helpful hot you know whatever it was i don't even know what it was but it was felt cool yeah. perfect perfect yeah. it um uh we didn't get to it today but you know it really amplifies your effective power you know if um you know let me just stand up we want to go to full screen there just you know if you know, if I'm not connecting the dots, let's say I'm I'm uh, I'm going to bring my arm around here and just bring my arm around like that, and it's like, oh, okay, that's you know, Rick's doing that. He's just moving his arm like that. But if I am getting my scapula, my shoulder, my my shoulder blades, and my hips, my elbows, and my knee, my wrists, my ankles my hands my feet i'm up turning so it's like suddenly it's like boom it everything is alive at that point there's there's getting kind of, my effective power has has multiplied considerably just mm -hmm. by doing just by making those internal connections right. valerie just speaking to what you were just um, talking about, yeah, it's stacking, but it's way more than just stacking. You want everything aligned um, without being tight. Um, I, I don't do enough standing. I don't. And I remember back in the day just thinking it was the bee's knees. Uh, and it is, um, you know, I did do the tiny thing like you did. And it, when I started off, it was actually something I heard on a video that was um, at some kind of competition a hundred years ago. And it was Don Miller who talked about standing. And, you know, I, I don't even know what time he gave it, but what I did was a half hour on one side and then a half hour on the other side. And it took me 25 minutes on each side before I got to, oh, this is why I'm standing. I just got so tired and so relaxed. It was like, then things could move. And so I think that's why you don't have to do that anymore is because you've got that relaxation. And I just have to go back to that word that, Jonathan used last week, um, transformative, you know, standing is it, like you said, there's so much going on. There is so much going on, even though you appear to be just standing still, 
I mean, just even if you go to the blood moving and, and your heart pumping and, and your breathing, just even to just that, much less the kind of scenario that we were, you know, playing with. It, it is. It's, it's truly transformative. It's, it's amazing. Well, well, well put. You know, we're finding the motion and stillness and the stillness in motion. And uh, and cultivating it in those in those postures, so we can actually feel all that activity going on, and it's translatable into movement later. Did you have something, Nick? Yes, Nick. Yeah, I did. Uh, because we're this is being taped uh, to encourage people who may may want to pursue this and push themselves a little bit. You know, what Valerie's talking about is that there are doors that open after a length of time, which may not seem like a reasonable length of time to you when you begin. But if you begin with the intention of not pushing too hard, but pushing yourself past the first couple of times, things get uncomfortable and you breathe through it and you start to feel good again, and you say, oh, okay, I could do this for another two or three minutes. That's when you want to quit and come back to it. You leave it when you're feeling good about it and then come back to it again. And, and it's been the experience with me and my students that they make faster progress at increasing their access to time and doorways, the, the experiences that come with time over time. Excellent. Well put. Well put. Anybody else? Okay, good. Thank you all so much. It's been fun. Thank uh, you. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Bye. Bye. Bye.